Okay, Steve, we've uh, got two of our own boys, Matt Grimes and Christy Pim, away with the uh, England under 20s this, this week, uh, ready for the game against Romania on Friday. And that kind of experience, that's something I'm sure you can relate to quite closely. Yes, I um, was lucky enough to get in Tottenham's team at 17. So that makes headlines, of course, and makes you a candidate for young England teams. So um, that meant I was picked for the under-18s, England. Uh, but also, um, when I went over 18, um, Bill Nicholson, the manager, held me back a bit. Because now I was sort of entrenched in the first team. And uh, he was holding me back from not being selected for the under-23s because he thought the gap was too big. Um, and I had enough on my plate to sort of compete at first team level. As sort of pressurised as that is, was. So uh, I thought that was a good decision by him. And uh, But a year later, he changed his mind. And so from sort of 19 onwards, I was selected for the under-23s. Uh, Alf Ramsey was the manager and actually took you on the, the tours, end-of-season tours or, or uh, midweek games. I remember playing down at Plymouth one night with Trevor Francis and various other Charlie George. So it was a good thing to be involved with. I eventually set a record for under-23 caps with uh, Martin Chivers. We both played 17 times. Um, I don't think that is beatable now because there's obviously not an under-23 team. But um, it makes me relate to what these two lads are uh, happening to them. And... I, I said to them that I never really felt that I did myself justice when I was playing for the under-23s um, because I thought it was so different to my regular training at club level and the games um, against Division 1 in those days teams away at Anfield and Old Trafford and stuff like that, you know, in front of big crowds. Um, under 23s wasn't so well um, supported and you have to say um, we didn't have weeks together training so this is a very unusual thing uh, so more or less we were thrown in together as a group of players from all over the country and asked to perform and I didn't really feel out of 17 games for instance for the under 23s I think I played to my potential probably two or three times only and that's a bit of a worry because you go back to your club and you think well I haven't really done myself justice but people then know that you've got a, a, a feather in your cap for being under 23 international so they probably expect a bit more of you and you know what I also thought I probably tried to play a bit different with an international shirt on and I mean I think we've all witnessed over the years players who sometimes do something different or expect it to be different from what they were doing at club level that got them selected. So, you know, for instance, if I was a hurry, scurry in midfield ball winner for Spurs, and then all of a sudden, because I've got an English shirt and I think I've got to be a playmaker, well, it doesn't actually run true, does it? You've got to stick to what you know and what your job is. So, um, yeah, I think it's about keeping control, not expecting too much of yourself, course working hard, being prepared to get back to your own club and carry on the good work that got your selection in the first place, not getting carried away with yourself, not getting above yourself and um, just doing your best whether you got your, your national shirt on or whether you got your homegrown uh, shirt on, which for me was Spurs and for these two lads is, is an Exeter City shirt that I know that they are delighted to, to be wearing, they're delighted every time they get selected for the first team, they don't take it for granted by any means and um, so I think they're level headed they'll, they'll cope with it well and just hope that they get a, a, a decent amount of game without uh, you know tiring them too much for our very important game against Mansfield on the Saturday. Do you think that's